hey guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i wanted to just show you guys what i eat in a day this is a very popular video that is i would say almost everybody has done this type of video but i just wanted to show you guys what i personally eat in a day now this is going to be very realistic because honestly i'm not the type to sit here and make like avocado toast and little quinoa and i don't eat all of that I honestly sometimes eat like a child <laughs> with like my chewy bars and little oatmeal, but I'm going to show you guys what I typically eat in a day. This is more so going to be like what I eat in a day off because I do work a nine to five. So when I'm at work, I have to have like little snacks that I can just bring easily every day. Now at work, I usually eat like once every hour. I know it sounds like a lot, but I have a fast metabolism. I get hungry very, very quick. So this is just going to be like a realistic what I eat on my days off. Also, it was just Christmas this week, so there's a lot of food in my house right now and your girl can eat. So before we get into today's video, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you know every time I upload. And let's get into what I eat, what I love to eat. So let's go. So starting out with my breakfast, I'm going to have French toast sticks. These are just ShopRite brand, your generic brand. These actually taste like the ones from Burger King, but they are super yummy. So I just placed as many as I want into my little toaster oven and toast these little bad boys up. They taste so good. I love them so much. They're probably like my favorite breakfast to have. And I just sprinkle some syrup on top of them and enjoy my delicious breakfast. Now I didn't have any bacon or else I would make that with this too, but I'm just having plain old French toast sticks. Now, because one breakfast isn't enough for me, I have to also have a bagel. And I am obsessed with these nooks and crannies bagels. I just pop them in the toaster, get them nice and golden, and then I go in with my butter. I prefer this butter because it is non-dairy. I like to live that non-dairy lifestyle. And it is also vegan for any of you guys that are vegan out there. This butter tastes exactly like regular butter and it's so tasty and yummy. Moving on to lunch, like I said, this is right after Christmas, so I have some leftovers that I'm gonna make. Now this is just paneer, which is pork shoulder, and it's like shredded, so it's easier to eat and just cut up and all that. So I'm just putting it in a little frying pan, and I'm just going to heat it up, fry it up, get it nice and golden. As you can see, it's like getting golden as we're going, and I'm gonna make a little sandwich out of this, so I did put two pieces of toast into the toaster, and make a little sandwich with this. With this, I also have some macaroni salad that I'm gonna eat on the side. And this is my yummy little lunch. And there ain't no race but your first place. There's no way I let you lose. All I can say is that I love you. On my worst day. Now for a snack, I love to go for chips. I'm such like a crunch type of person. I love crunchy snacks and chips are my favorite. These actually are one of my favorites, the sour cream and onion chips from Lay's. My other top favorites are like a honey barbecue. It doesn't matter what brand it's from. I love honey barbecue chips. I just prefer eating chips, so I'm eating that while I'm editing a video. Then after something salty, I have to have something sweet. And these are my favorite cookies. They're the Tate's Bake Shop chocolate chip cookies. They are so buttery and crunchy, again with a the crunch. They are just so savory and are a great snack after having something super salty. Now for my dinner, I am taking the leftovers again and making a new meal with it. So I'm going to make my favorite little stir fry. I'm just cutting up some garlic and adding some olive oil to my pan. Let those two sizzle up before adding my leftover already cooked white rice that I can fry up. Mm -hmm. 
This is my favorite meal to make when I do have leftover white rice, especially if you get it from the Chinese spot, like they give you a little carton of the white rice. I like to take this and then make a little stir fry out of it. I have some leftover baked chicken legs that I'm going to just slice up and shred up and then put into my rice and put make it like a little chicken stir fry. I really wish I had some scallions because usually I do like to put scallions into this as well. But this I'm just doing a little chicken and rice stir fry for today. So I like to take two of the little soy sauce packages that I get from the Chinese restaurants because in my opinion these just taste better than buying like a bottle of soy sauce. I don't know what it is but I prefer the taste of these. So I just pour two of them into my rice and stir it all up, fry it all up. This doesn't take too long once you do put the soy sauce in there. The rice and the chicken is pretty much already heated up. And as a side, I'm taking these P.F. Chang's Korean Beef Mini Egg Rolls. These taste so good. This pack comes with eight, but I'm just putting four in there just to have like a little side. They're a little on the spicy side, but it tastes so good. And it's a nice little spicy kick to go with the savory rice. A little nighttime snack. I have to go with something sweet again. So here I have a little cake from Christmas that's just French vanilla with a cream cheese frosting. And that is all that I eat in a day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. And I will see you all next time. When the sky's gray.